Welcome back. This is AP Environmental Science Chapter 5. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, allopatric speciation. Speciation is just when you form a new species. And the formation of new species has given rise to millions of species that are on Earth today and has given us this unbelievable biodiversity. And so it's important for us to understand, well, how do speciation events occur? Uh, how do formation of new species occur? How quickly is the formation of new species? How quickly do things change over time? And then also how quickly can things uh, go extinct? This is important for environmental scientists because we need to understand the mechanisms, the baseline mechanisms that occur in nature so that we can understand how we are interacting with those natural processes and what that will cause um, in the future. And so this diagram right here is allopatric speciation. When we talk about allopatric speciation, we're talking about uh, geographic barriers that split up a population. And so we have a population of mice here that are, uh, have a genetic composition, have a certain percentage of black furred mice, certain percentage of white furred mice. And this is the original population. But then you have a river that is diverted and splits this population into two populations. One on one side of the river, another on the other side of the river. These populations now cannot cross that river. Mice aren't going to be swimming across that river. And so therefore, population one, population two, or the I guess it should be more like uh, 1B, population 1A and 1B, doesn't matter. Either way, uh, the populations are not going to be mating anymore. They're not going to be crossing that river to mate with other mice and such. And so now the each side starts to change according to the environmental pressures on either side of the river. This can be temperature, abiotic uh, things like temperature, uh, it could be uh, all sorts of random processes, random mating. And so now you start to get a completely different genetic composition. These are now going to go under natural selection according to their side of the river. And uh, over time, through many, many populations or generations, excuse me, you're going to get a genetically distinct population. So this population... Uh, on this side, has now become completely black furred mice. And this population on this side has completely changed, evolved to become completely white furred mice. As time continues to go along, uh, they have now become genetically distinct. They are now reproductively isolated. They will not be able to mate anymore. And now you have the formation of a new species. So if later the river uh, dries up and now these mice can interact in both directions, now uh, they're unable to interbreed, and so therefore we uh, describe this as the formation of a new species or speciation. So this is allopatric speciation. It occurs when you have a geographic um, isolating event, and so this could be a river or it could be... Um, founders, population going to an island, um, now they're separated from an ocean apart, it could be all sorts of things, mountain range, um, all sorts of geographic, um, I'm sorry, geographic barriers that split a population and then cause those populations to uh, speciate. 